guys, it's me Catherine, welcome back to another Tuesday on Oh My Gosh TV. So I'm so excited to give you guys an awesome, fun-filled, packed video, if that made sense. But I did a huge school supplies haul. As you can see, I have three very full bags right here. Um, once you get to high school, you don't buy as many school supplies each year because you save some from the past year as far as like binders and folders as long as they're not ripped. So it might not seem like a lot, but it is a lot for high school because you usually save the stuff from the past year. But anyway guys, I have a big haul to show you and I will show you guys up close on video while I talk about each product and I'll go through each bag um, and individual products as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first bag I have for you guys is binders, folders, and I think that's about it. So I'm going to show you each binder. Um, this one uh, is actually really cute, as you guys are seeing on the screen. It is adorable. It has a very cute pattern, and I absolutely love it. Uh, then I have four folders. Um, folders we usually, we usually really don't use as much. We use binders. But as far as maybe like take home folders to put in homework or papers, you can use those. So I have a Studio C one here, as you guys saw. I have another uh, Mead 5 star one. I have a Studio C of a doggy, that's adorable. And a Studio C patterned as well. So those ones I'm not necessarily going to use all the time. These binders though, I will. Um, I got this Casemate. Um, one and a half inch durable binder. Then I have that same binder in hot pink, which I absolutely love. And then the same binder in white, as you guys are seeing on the screen. I just don't need to pull it out because it's the same binder, but just in white. So that was that. Time for the next bag. Okay, so this bag can, gets into some of my favorite stuff as well, which is pencils, highlighters, um, and then different things. So right here I have a Paper Mate uh, Bright Bold Colors. Um, mechanical pencils and I have six of them in pink, uh, purple, red, yellow, blue, and green. And then I have some yellow highlighters. I have both thick and thin highlighters. Sometimes you want a thin highlighter, sometimes you want a thick highlighter. It just depends. Then I have a three pack of Sharpies. You always want to have Sharpies around. Um, I have the fine point. I also want Sharpie pens. I love Sharpie pens. They are great to have as well. Then um, it's always good to have one of these around, whether it's a big storage or a small storage, but a flash drive is always good to have around, especially when you're in high school and you start using your computer a lot more to store projects on and different things like that. So I definitely did grab a 16 gigabyte SanDisk flash drive in the color pink. The next thing I have are more Papermate, but they are pens and they come in the colors um, kind of dark pink, red, green, purple, orange, and blue. Um, vivid colors and these are um, medium kind of thickness and I love these pens. Emma, my best friend, has them and I just fell in love with them. And I got six of those, like six pens, one pack. And then I got generic pens because you don't always need the fancy pens. Um, so just kind of like the pencils, I got one fancy um, and then generic, which are just paper mate. Um, black ink, medium point, and 11 pens. And then um, I also have eight um, two packs of an eight tab insertable from Avery that you use as um, dividers. And then I also have sheet protectors, um, which are very big to use in high school. The, these are by Casemate. And then lastly, I have the college ruled. I have two packs of the 150 college ruled notebook sheets. Um, and we don't really use notebooks as much in high school. We usually use um, sheets of paper. So now on to the last bag. Okay, so this bag has some fun stuff and then also um, just a lot of fun, colorful tools and different things like that. So I did all my school supply shopping at Walmart, if you couldn't tell. Um, and they didn't have a big selection of pencil case holders. And last year I tried to do um, like two pencil case holders, one for each kind of day. But it really kind of became a struggle because they all just kind of blended. So I just got one kind of semi-large pencil case holder. Um, as you guys are seeing on the screen, but like it's not really that cute. I just wanted like a plain pink or a plain black or white, but I just went with this. People aren't really going to care what your pencil case holder is, but you know, whatever. Then I do have a bright red um, note card holder. You use note cards a lot in high school, um, so I have to get a note card holder. 
Then I have 24 Crazy Art colored pencils. Um, it's always good to have colored pencils and crayons, as I have Crayola crayons, 24 pack. I do have four packs of post-it notes. I have pink, blue, yellow, and orange. I love post-it notes. They're great to use to keep tabs on things, to mark in books, different things like that. And then I have two sets of um, note cards. I have regular white and then two sets of colored. I like both. Colored are really fun to work with because it's more vibrant and it keeps my attention more, but white are also just cheaper and generic. Um, then I also have some Elmer's washable glue. Um, then I have four packs of Bic pencils. Each pack comes with 10 plus two free, so basically I got 46 pencils, and these are just the generic ones, like I said. And then I have two packs of Crayola markers. Um, I have 10 classic colors and then 10 bright colors. And then the last thing in here, which I absolutely love using, is Bic Whiteout. Um, whiteout is very important for me, I think, because I do make mistakes, and using Whiteout allows me to, you know, white it out, recorrect it, and not let my teachers know that I made a big mistake. <laughs> Basically, that's it. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is my school supplies haul. Let me know if you guys want more school-themed videos down below. Also, guess what you guys think this week's hidden theme is in the comment section down below. The person last week who got the theme correct is right here. It was money, and it was very hard to guess. Um, we all did story times, and it threw you guys off, and I'm dearly sorry for that. But um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. My, uh, you know, Tiffany... Uh, my cousin really enjoyed filming for you guys. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys!